Blizzard explains the value of mythical looks in Overwatch 2. As you know, Blizzard in Overwatch 2 decided to follow the path trodden by other developers and transfer the project to shareware rails with all the consequences that follow from this, such as combat passes and very expensive cosmetics, due to which the project will be monetized. If the original Overwatch only had three rarity levels for cosmetic content, basic, epic, and legendary, then Overwatch 2 will add a fourth, even rarer level, mythical. So far, we only know about the mythical appearance of the characters, and now, Blizzard in an interview with the publication Game Informer explained what is so unusual is hidden under this mysterious status. It turned out that the mythical looks in Overwatch 2 differ not only in a huge degree of detail, but also in the ability to customize various elements, creating whole custom combinations of the hero's appearance. In particular, using the example of the mythical appearance of Jinji, the developers demonstrated that the player is free to change entire elements of his mask, add new tattoos, change the color scheme, and much more. According to Overwatch 2 game director Aaron Keller, creating one such mythical image takes a team of artists about a year. As a result, the corresponding team had to be expanded as much as three times. Which, in general, very clearly characterizes Blizzard's priorities in relation to the sequel of its heroic shooter. Mythical forms will be part of battle passes, you won't need to purchase them separately, and after reaching the 80th level of the pass, you will receive both the appearance itself and all the additional elements of its customization. As for Overwatch 2, its launch in early access, multiplayer only, will take place exactly one week later, on October 4th. Whether the Russians will be able to continue playing quietly, we will find out next Tuesday.